DJ through to beer review. Well, it's time to go macro. That's right, guys. We're not going local today. We're not going craft. We're going macro. Why? Because we have a product from AB InBev. That's right, out of Leuven, Belgium. And what product do we have to them, from them today? We have their Stella Artois. That's right. This is a 5% ABV, 23 IPU, Euro Pale Lager, and it's a year-round serving or omnipresent serving because everywhere you go, Stella is there. Now, I've had this beer many, many times. Why do I have a six pack in front of it? Because the wife's or the missus, ladies friends came over and she said, I want some Stella. So I bought them a six pack of Stella and also a six pack of Boulevard unfiltered wheat. There was only two of the unfiltered wheats left and nearly an entire six pack of the Stella. Why? Because they tasted the unfiltered wheat first, then they tasted the Stella and they didn't want to have the Stella because it tasted like nothing to them. Well, what is this nothing maybe tasting beer made of? It's made of water, barley malt, hops, um, non-malted grains, which could be corn or rice. Having the, had this beer before, I suspect it's rice, and it's unique yeast strain. Now, this beer has been around, from what I can tell, since 1926, and it started out as a holiday beer. Why do I know all this? Because actually, AB InBev puts all this information on their website. If you look, there's a PDF of it. Anyways, so, ah, let's... Crack into this lovely, see what it's 5% ABV and 23 IBUs, as I said, are all about. Let's see here. This might be a twist off. I don't remember. I don't really care because I don't do twist offs. Let's pour it in the glass. Ah, oh, it's crystal clear. No, I'm not going to do the ritual like they call it and swipe off the top of the glass with the head and everything like they do in Belgium because this ain't Belgium. This is the dungeon. Let's see what this looks like. Not that I don't already know. It's an extremely clear golden yellow color. Very precise beer. Perfectly filtered, not a hint of cloudiness in it. We got a crispy one finger white head, really soap sudsy at the top when I swirl it. Not getting any alcohol legs, but we're already getting some nice clingy glass lacing. So that's good. I'm drinking this fairly cold. That's what they recommend. When I clocked it with my little infrared thermometer, it said it's about 40 degrees. That's as cold as I want it. Any colder than that, I won't be able to taste anything at all in this. So let's get a nose on it. Maybe that's what they want. And let's see what's up in the aroma department. Sweet, uh, sweet grains, like um, almost caramelly grains. Honey, honey sweetness, actually, like honey syrup, artificial honey, sort of. Lots of nice floral hops. And that's about it. There's no alcohol in the aroma, no off-putting aromas. Very, very run-of-the-mill, white rice-like sort of sweetness and a little bit of floral hop. That's it. Really clean, but that's what this beer that's perfectly clear, it's got a little chill haze on the glass now, is meant to be about. It smells a lot like uh, a lot of the Mexican beers that I've had, a lot of the Mexican lagers. So, time to dive in, guys. Cheers. And it tastes like, look at that, awesome glass lace in there, gorgeous, gorgeous looking beer. And it tastes like a lot of the Mexican um, lagers that I've had. Very crisp, clean. It's got a little bit of spiciness from the yeast that you do not get in the in the Mexican beers. Theirs are all sweetness. And that spiciness from the yeast actually counterbalances the big malty sweetness that's in there. Very clean finish. Nice uh, zippy carbonation to it. No alcohol at all in the taste. And I can see why. Um, you know, a lot of folks, you know, would drink this beer a lot and order it a lot, that kind of thing, because it is a quite tasty brew. Um, it's compared with pretty much any food, and it wouldn't get in the way with it because it tastes like nothing. You could chug these back to back. It's very sessionable in that in that matter. It's a shame that it comes in green bottles. You can see they've tried to combat that by putting the long top cap on. That also uh, hides underfills, and it also protects it up to here with the carton, but you still got green glass. I kept this in a paper bag in the refrigerator, so when the kids were opening and closing the door, it wouldn't get skunky. No hint of skunk at all on this, so that's a cool thing. So what do we grade a beer like this? Rate Beer gives it a 13. That, that's that's freaking ludicrous. And Beer Advocate gives it a 71, which is like a C minus. I'm not going to go there either. I'm going to I'm going to give this beer a B minus or a uh, B actually because you know what it is a B beer, it's a B minus beer. You know what? See, I'm conflicted here. B B minus. I'm going to go high B minus beer on this. It's not bad. It just doesn't taste like much. It could go with anything. I would imagine as it warms up. It won't taste as good as it does cold. This is one you drink, want to drink as like a cold refresher, not necessarily a beer that you want to sit there and savor and taste. It's a back-to-back -back Belgian slammer, basically is what it is. But 
for what it is, it's tasty enough. I'm going to give it like an 81, I think. B minus, you know, heading towards that B range. It's not bad. I would drink it in a pinch, but it's nothing I would seek out. Though I've got three more to drink unless I can convince the wife and her lady friends to drink them. So, to the next DJ's Brew Tube, i got to talk about something really important now. That's right, thinking globally, drinking locally, and supporting the craft beer movement. Um... I'm not supporting the craft beer movement right now, but I'll, I'll get to that later tonight, probably. Yes, that's right. So, to the next DJ Brew Tube, thanks a million to each and every one of you for watching. Please remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and hit that like button. Until then, I got nothing but a bunch of love for you. That's right, and a big macro beer drinking. Peace out!